We're going to jump forward a couple verses in Psalm 149 today to verse 6. And it talks about the praise of God being in their mouths and a double-edged sword being in their hands. One thing that we tend to forget about God's Word is that it is a double-edged sword. One thing we also tend to forget about many of the songs that we hear both today and songs that were hymns is that it is just that, a double-edged sword. The music and the worship that we have in church time is meant to go in and cut, and when it's coming out, it cuts. It's doing so because it is convicting us. It is doing so because it is taking us to a point in each of our lives where we have to ask ourselves a question. Why is it that I'm doing what I'm doing? So if you struggle with the music, or if you have heard of churches that struggle with the music, you just have to ask yourself the question, why is it that they're doing what it is that they're doing? What are their goals? What is their vision? What is it that God is telling them to do with that worship time? And then take that back to yourself personally. Why is it that I worship the way that I worship? Why is it that I choose not to sing? Why is it that I choose to criticize the, vo the volume? Why is it that I criticize the kinds of instruments that we use? Why is that? And ask yourself, is this really about me? Is this really about God? Is this really about the way that I worship? What is this really telling us? And what is it that God is trying to show me? This question is for you and for you only. You have to ask yourself this and you have to answer it as well. I don't know, I don't have that answer for you, but I bet you if you spend a little bit of time with the Lord tonight, you will come up with that answer. Think about it, pray about it, live it, and we'll see you tomorrow.